The News for Jack's Eye team now looking into a list of church officials credibly accused of sex abuse. Florida investigators say they found no evidence that children are currently in danger, but they identified 97 priests with ties to Florida's Catholic churches with allegations of sexual abuse against them, four of which were linked to the Diocese of St. Augustine. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley is joining us live to break down what we've learned so far. Kelly? Well, Tarek, much like Pennsylvania and other states that have taken this task on of investigating sex abuse in the church, none of the people they identify can actually be prosecuted in court. In some cases, the person accused has passed away. In a very few cases, they've already faced prosecution. And in the vast majority, the statute of limitations has expired. A new report by the Florida Office of Statewide Prosecution names 97 priests credibly accused of sexual abuse in Florida's Catholic churches. At least four of the men accused have links to the Diocese of St. Augustine. Allegations against Thomas McNamara, Richard Bowles, Father John Ducks, and Reverend William Weinheimer surfaced before the report was published this weekend. Of the four, John Ducks and Reverend William Weinheimer are the only two still living. In March, the Diocese of St. Augustine revealed it received an allegation that Father John Ducks sexually abused a minor in 1976. The allegation was received a year before the diocese made it public. According to the Diocese of St. Augustine, their review board reviewed the claim and determined there was a semblance of truth and found the allegation to be credible. But according to the state report, Father Ducks is barred from prosecution because the statute of limitations expired. In fact, investigators concluded all 97 priests credibly accused in the report cannot be prosecuted because the person is either dead or the statute of limitations has expired. Prosecutor Nick Cox has been working to investigate sex abuse in Florida's churches since 2018. I was immediately concerned with whether or not there were children still affiliated with the church, with the Catholic Church, that may be in danger now. So it started out with us simply looking at a more recent years to see whether or not we had any immediate problems still going on in the church. Uh, and then once we got done with that, we decided to look back historically to see if there was anyone we could prosecute historically. It was disturbing. Yeah. And whether it was in the Catholic Church or anywhere, it's disturbing. But, you know, what got to me was, is this was a church. This is, you know what I mean? I mean, of course, that's the one of the most disturbing parts about it is that this stuff was historically happening in the church. The report also revealed more than 80 priests were relocated to Florida after being credibly accused of sexual abuse in other parts of the country and world. According to the report, historical records indicated that priests were repeatedly relocated after allegations arose in order to protect the offender or prevent public knowledge of the allegation. Historically, authorities were not notified of abuse. And it's still unclear to us how many of those uh, priests and church officials who were in that second list, the list of people who had been credibly accused in other places and relocated to Florida, how many of those have links to the Diocese of St. Augustine? Earlier, I spoke to the attorney representing the Diocese of St. Augustine, and they are working to get us the list to see if any of the any people linked to their church and to the, their diocese is on that separate list of people from other places. And so once we have that, we will give it to you. But one thing the prosecutor did point out to us is that the Diocese of St. Augustine did play a big role for the state in making sure they upgraded and updated their rules and their protocol for reporting any kind of abuses like this. It was actually uh, in, the, in their report, they said this, in 1988, Bishop Snyder of the Diocese of St. Augustine suggested to other Florida bishops that steps be taken by the Florida province to begin proactively addressing sexual assault. And they say as a result, result uh, precursors to the diocesan review board system presently in place in Florida were initiated and reviewed at least some allegations of abuse. We're going to have more on this as we learn more. We'll bring it to you reporting live in Jacksonville. Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, the local station.